Hi guys and welcome back to another video and today's video is a bit special because I have another guest artist on my channel who I've interviewed. She has incredible visuals, she does everything herself. I did obviously the interview with Greta before and now this is another one in a very similar vein with Sincerely Hannah. I love her music, I think the visuals reflect her and the music so well. So I just wanted to give you another example of an artist that is a small artist that is doing this incredibly well. There's some really crucial bits of like diamond knowledge I think in her answers. Um, she says how it, the whole branding process got easier once she found her flow and she, I think it's a really good example of someone who is using branding as a totally authentic form of communication rather than a business thing or a commercial thing. It's all very natural, it's all very organic um, and I think that is something I always champion so I think yeah it's really important. She's a really important artist to discuss this for me. I've put in some examples of her visuals, her music is linked below, it's up to you whether you listen to the music first and then watch the interview and hear her answers or whether you want to watch the interview first and then go listen to the music and see if it's what you imagined. So I'm going to leave that up to you to do that whatever way around you prefer um, and let me know what you think. Here's our interview. Hi Anna, thank you so much for doing this and appearing on my channel. So to start off, if you'd like to tell us all who you are, what you do and then five key words that describe you as an artist. Hi Effie, thanks so much for having me on your channel. My name is Hannah, I go by Sincerely Hannah on the internet. I'm a music producer, a vocalist, songwriter, and I also like to think of myself as somewhat of a visual artist because visuals are like super important to me and I also do curate and direct like all of my photo shoots and music videos and stuff like that. Um, I create all of my music in my home studio, so it's a one-woman show, uh, which is really fun and really challenging at times, but I really like steering my own ship, so that's why I chose to do it this way. Um, and five words to describe myself. Uh, this is like really hard to pick because... Uh, I'd probably go with like a lot more like self-deprecating stuff, but <laughs> for the sake of not being like that, uh, I'm gonna go with ethereal, vintage inspired, um, emotive, DIY, and earnest. Your Instagram grid is so cohesive and it reflects you as an artist. How did you go about creating that? Was it a natural process or did you? was it more thought out? So I think a bit of both because when I first got into like electronic pop music, I kind of followed the trends a lot more in terms of branding and image and stuff like that. So I was super like, monochromatic, I had blue hair, uh, everything was very like minimalist vibe. Um, it was a lot more like industrial looking than what I do now, which is very like nature driven and stuff. Um, so back then I definitely thought a lot more about my branding because it didn't come naturally. Like that wasn't really who I was inside, like that wasn't my natural tendency to portray that type of image, but I kind of thought that's what people would want to see in that like electronic pop realm. So that's what I did and I definitely curated a lot of my stuff um, and like really thought about it before posting, you know? But now I, I've kind of let go of that a lot. Um, because I just find that being like true to myself, my branding um, is so much more like cohesive, which is so weird. Um, and I know that doesn't always come naturally for everyone. And I am still like conscious of a lot of things. Obviously, I do still, you know, think about something before I post it, but it definitely just comes like a lot easier. Um, it's not as much of a struggle to, like, brand, I guess. 
This aesthetic is also really apparent in your video for Cocoon. So why do you think it's so important to have those visuals cohesive across all outlets? I think it's really important for visuals to be cohesive across like all of your platforms because that's kind of how people get to know you and it's putting a part of yourself out there to the world. So I think you have to like ask yourself, you know, well, how do I want people to see me and what do I want to tell people? So, you know, if you're telling them one thing on Instagram and a completely different thing on YouTube, they're not, they're going to be like, who is this person? Like, I don't know who she is, you know, she's just confusing. <laughs> And kind of referencing back to my last answer, like, I think when you're really just following your heart in terms of what you like and who you are and your brand is just going to become a lot more cohesive naturally because you're just doing what you naturally like. And do you create your visuals all yourself or do you have help from others? I do create all my visuals myself. Um, I do work with like photographers and videographers. Um, other than like maybe, you know, Instagram posts, I might just use like self timer. <laughs> but for like actual photo shoots and stuff, or like obviously music video shoots, you can see it's like being handheld and stuff. So I do work with photographers and videographers, but in terms of like the creative direction and the styling and all of that, um, I do uh, do that all myself. I really, really love your Instagram story covers. How did you go about creating those? And where did the idea come from? Well, thank you. Um, I'm glad you like them. I really like old like European art and stuff. And I just felt like I didn't want to have just like random photos from like the story highlights on there because that kind of looks a little messy to me um and then I didn't really want to go the route of like having some like little graphic design thing just because that's not really my style um so yeah I just like probably google imaged like these old like paintings <laughs> and used those and they're all like kind of darker themed just to be, you know, a bit cohesive with them. What sort of environment or atmosphere do you hope to create from your music and your visuals for your fans to experience? I mean, I just want to create like almost like a fictional, fantastical world for people to like get lost in and honestly to find like comfort and joy and connection in. I just kind of think of like the different like fandoms I'm a part of, whether that's like music or pop culture stuff. Um, I just, yeah, when I enter those worlds um, and that sense of like comfort and familiarity, it's like that's kind of what I would like to create for people because that's something that I've experienced and that like is really important to me. Like those fandoms and those artists that provide that for me um, are like really important in my life. So yeah, that's what I'd like to do for others. Who or what inspires you musically, creatively and visually? So I'm super inspired by film. Um, I used to want to be like an actress and film director. So like, yeah, movies are a big inspiration for me, um, especially things that are like either historical dramas or fantasy movies or like Wes Anderson movies. Um, yeah, that's definitely what uh, inspires me both visually and like sonically because it's like, I don't know, it's like all connected for me. Um, but then there's definitely a good handful of artists, uh, music artists that really inspire me, such as like Bjork or Fiona Apple. I really like Florence Welsh and Stevie Nicks, um, Freddie Mercury. There's like so many and they all inspire me in like their own individual ways and for different reasons, whether it's like their performance energy, their, you know, raw 
lyrical honesty, um, their fashion. There's just like so many reasons to like appreciate all those artists. So yeah, that's pretty much most of the stuff that like inspires my music. Um, and then real life, obviously, real experiences and things you go through. Finally, thank you so much for doing this. I love your music, I love your visuals, and I hope this will really help others get inspired for creating their own visuals and making it cohesive across all their work um, and just visually representing themselves as an artist. So lastly, please tell us about your latest release and how the idea and visuals developed. My latest project was Cocoon, so that's my latest single, and I also released a music video for it. Um, I wrote that song a long time ago, actually, like maybe a year. Um, I was super inspired by this like harp loop that I found, and then I just built the rest of the song from there. So the song was pretty much done, and then I watched a movie called Midsommar, <laughs> which was fantastic. Um, and I was like, I love these visuals. I mean, not all the visuals, some of it's like disgusting, but like the springtime kind of cult-ish vibe. Um, so I was like, I want to make a music video that's like visually inspired by Midsummer. So that's kind of where the visual inspiration came from. So yeah, they weren't really connected. Um, necessarily, but I think ultimately it like, it, it really came together and it definitely feels like the, almost like the sweetness of like the start of the song and then the very like aggressive bass and stuff that comes in. I feel like it, it's represented well visually in terms of like, you know, sweet like flower crowns and girl in white dress and flower field but then there's like blood on my hands and like I'm wiping it on the wall and like it's kind of horrific visuals <laughs> which was like really fun to make um so yeah I think it went well in terms of like contrast with like you know light and dark and like soft and hard and whatever so yeah if you guys want to check out cocoon it's on all major music platforms and the video is on youtube as well so yeah thanks so much for having me